And of everyone, this is for Aquarius for their week ahead. My name is Portia, which is from Heaven, Paranormal, and Tarot. This is where I do your cards once a week. And I'll lay the cards out one at a time, giving a brief description of what they mean so that you can use your own intuition as well. And then afterwards, <clears throat> I'll read the cards properly for you. <clears throat> Pardon me. Bit of a frog in my throat today. Right. Aquarius. Let's see what we got for Aquarius for this week ahead. And just before I turn the camera on, believe it or not, an orb went past. It was awesome. Right. Oh, Aquarius, something's going to be happening in a hurry. That's for sure. Could also be travel. Some of you might be traveling. Okay, we've got the King of Coins with the Two of Cups. So the King of Coins, he's a masculine energy. He, um, he's very earthy. And I don't know what I want to say, but I can't think. He could have something to do with healing. Then you've got the two of cups, which is you coming together. It could be a partnership. It could be a new business partner. It could be a new love. Right. Oh, then we've got the moon and the star. Oh, wow. So the moon, it's an illusion. So there's something you can't see. Okay. It's like being in the dark. So there's something you're a little bit scared of. But with the Star of Hope, it's telling you, don't be scared, test the water, okay? Test the water and see what happens. And have faith and hope. Oh, then we've got the Two of Coins. And the Ten of Coins, I do feel the number two now is going to be important to you guys this week. So, Two of Coins represents juggling your finances, juggling your time, your energy, you know. Then you've got the Ten of Coins, and because it's juggling your money, I feel you're going to do very well at that. Do very well at juggling your finances. And I'm going to use these cards. These are the Everyday Enchantment, which are beautiful cards. Loads of people have asked me what cards they are. these are all the time. So. Okay. We've got the fiber so Oh, I didn't turn the light on, did I? Sorry. You, know, you can see a bit better now, can't you? Um, the Five of Swords. It's arguing. It's people not talking to you. People think you're wrong. And you're trying to get them to listen to you. But people just aren't listening to you. Then we've got the Empress. Okay, that's love. Mother Nature. All love. Nice feminine energy there. And then you've got the Nine of Coins. So that's, that's you loving your expensive things. You know, the finer things in life. Then we've got the Hangman. Hangman, he's making, you're being told there's a sacrifice you need to make. But it's also look at something from a dis different perspective. Then you've got the Knight of Swords. He's also doing something in a hurry. But with the Knight of Swords, he can also make mistakes. Oh, we got the Ace of Wands. How lovely. There's a new beginning there for you. Okay. Then you've got the world which means everything's come to an end and you're going to start all over again. So with the world, it normally means you've got new knowledge and everything. And you need to start all over again, learning something new. 
Then you've got the seven of coins, which is you trying to think of ways of making more money. And you've got the six of coins, which is you, you know, give and take and sharing things, maybe sharing some knowledge. Then you've got the ten of cups, which is the wish card. So ten can also be important to you this week. Then you've got the four of swords, which is time to rest. Oh, six of wands, lovely. The victory card. You've overcome some hurdles. And then you've got the five of wands, which is petty arguments. Stupid things that annoy you and petty arguments. Right, let's read the cards properly. So we've got the king of cups. Was that the cup? No, the king of coins with the two of cups. So I do feel that there is someone who probably maybe even knows healing around you. And you're going to get together with them, which is going to be you know, lovely for you, okay? You've got the nine of coins, I believe that is. Yep, nine of coins, which is, is it coins or cups? Coins. Nine of coins, which is abundance. Loving the finer things in life. Sometimes it's even treating yourself to something really extravagant. Then we've got the hangman. And I feel with the hangman, he's actually saying, you know, you've got to look at something in a different way. Okay, look at it a different way, because if you're thinking bad of someone, I feel they could actually be innocent. Okay, it could be just in your mind, because you've got the Knight of Swords. You know, you're going to jump to conclusions, I feel, and it's going to happen very fast. Then you've got the Moon. Now, the Moon represents illusions, but with the Star of Hope, I feel that you know, it's like you're scared of something. You're actually scared of something, but with the hope there, they're saying, ask for help. <clears throat> There's nothing harm with it. You know, you've got your, the water is in the, wa the foot is in the water, not the water's in the foot. Good grief, girl. You've got the foot which is in the water, which is your, you know, you're testing something. Okay, you're trying something out. And you will be trying something new out because we have the Ace of Wands there. And with the Ace of Wands, I feel you've got... Because you've got the world here, I feel that you learned something new in the past. But you didn't perfect it. Okay, so they're saying now you've come so far, they want you to start again. So if it's something like you... You sort of like know a bit like, I don't know, astrology, tarot, mechanics, being a chef. You've come so far, you're now to go to the next stage, okay? The next stage is ready for you. You are ready for it as well. But you're thinking on how you can get the money or how can you get there. Okay, it's give and take. Ask for advice from people, you know, have patience. Stop giving all your time away so you have more time to do these things. Okay, be kind to yourself, all right? Then we got the two of coins with the ten of coins. So you are juggling your finances in order to get the money to do whatever it is you want to do. And you will, okay? You will, because you've got the ten there. You've got the ten of cups there which is everything perfect at home and everything but you need to rest okay you do need to rest maybe you've overworked your brain or something all right then you've got the six of wands which is victory and you're jumping over a hurdle so you you pass you're gonna go through this and you're gonna do very well okay then you've got the five of wands so it's petty arguments but that could be you pushing yourself very hard, okay? And they're telling you not to. Don't push yourself too hard so you're, you know, you're too tired for things. And you, you haven't got time for things. It, you've got to juggle your, you know, your time as well. Remember that. 
That's important. Must juggle your time as oh look at that. We've got the sun. How beautiful, guys. Everything's gonna work out for you. Got temperance again, and that's you testing the water, trying something new. Okay, there is something you're gonna have to walk away from, but then that could be the sacrifice of the hangman. Something or someone you're gonna walk away from. Okay. Some of you, okay, and I'm sorry to say it, but some of you either drink, take drugs, gamble, eat too much, buy too many things. It's time now to stop. You must stop that in order to move on, guys, okay? But it's something that you're going to have to sort out yourself. And there is someone there who's happy to give you advice. You've got the Queen of Cups. She's very loving and supportive, all right? And she will give you the best advice out there. I want to say she is feminine energy. Could be a woman, could be a man. Because we all have, believe it or not, we all have feminine and masculine energies in us. And a lot of people know that, but a lot of people don't. Just saying. Right. Yeah, there we go. At the bottom we have arguments, disputes, fallout. But they're only going to be petty, they're not going to be major, we know that. Okay. Someone's going to try and stop you from doing something. Someone's going to try and stop you. And you've got the initial I, which is Ian, Irene... Ingrid, Isabel, if you can think of any more, that's fine. Then you've got double cross, deceived, misled, cheap, tricked. Like I say, someone's going to trick you. This is going to happen in about two to three weeks, guys. Okay. I feel that. Like you're punishing yourself mentally. You guys are punishing yourself mentally. Because you know you shouldn't be doing this stuff. Okay? There is a solution out there. Out there. Out there? There is a solution out there. And the job you're after could be to do with travel. Okay? Maybe some of you want to be a medium. Maybe some of you want to be in the medium or in the forces. And it could be your karma. Could be part of your karma. Right. Now we'll do these ones. Self activation. You need to meditate and get in touch with your higher self. Okay, it could be the winter when it happens. It's a masculine energy around you. Okay, reunion. There could be a reunion here going on, and that's who. You're going to get in touch with the Two of Cups. And you have got decisions to make, like I said. Okay. You'll see patterns in something. Be something with patterns on that will bring something back to you. And then you've got the Ace of Water, which is the Ace of Cups. So it's Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. So it could be one of them around you. Okay, one more. And it could be a union. All right, one more. Stop saying one more, spirit. <laughs> Detachment, cold. Maybe you're going to feel a bit cold. Yeah, not very loving. Right, if you'd like to think of a question, I'm going to pull, do three pages. 
So you can either ask three questions or one or two or whatever. So please Spirit, can you help Aquarius with their question and give them appropriate answer with the highest of truth. Thank you. Accept any change to your routine. That's cool. Get it in writing. So if someone says they'll do something, get it in writing. It's good a good time to make plans. There you go, guys. That was a lovely one, wasn't it? Right, now I'm going to do your manifestation card for your week ahead. So whatever it says on the card, do it for a week and see what happens. Can't hurt, can it? Definitely can't hurt. Okay, pick the bottom one. Live in joy. Humanity needs your joy. Planet Earth needs your joy. The universe needs your joy. And that's why you are here. Find what brings you joy. Start living it, and you will have fulfilled your purpose. So, in other words, just keep being happy and thank the universe for anything that happens. And you, even if it's bad, thank the universe, because even bad things is a lesson in life that we've had to learn. Right? Okay, Aquarius, I hope that's helped. As always, stay truthful, be happy. And love and sparkle, Scooby-Doo.